I started using rechargeable batteries when I bought this flash unit. This unit uses four AA batteries. And the charger I used initially was this one. It's just very basic and all it does is charge. And that worked fine for several years. When, when the batteries got depleted, it's just pop them in here to um, charge them up again. However, one day I went out with the flash and it wouldn't work. And what had happened is that one battery had gone bad and the, the charger hadn't given me any indication. So I started getting interested in smart chargers and there I have three. So what I thought I'd do is put together a quick video just to look at some of the differences and similarities and it might help you make a decision if you're in the market for a smart charger. And of course, there are far more chargers on the market than just these three. This one is the PowerX MHC 9000 Pro. This one is the Vapcell S4 Plus, and it's the version two. And this one is the Lito Carla LII 600. And as you can see, these two are quite similar, and this one is different. So let's look at the, the PowerX first. And the slots can only accept AA or AAA size batteries. And the charger can only handle nickel metal hydride or nickel cadmium batteries. These two can handle those batteries and they can also handle lithium ion batteries. And because of the design of the slots, they're, they're wider. And these rear connections are on springs and slide. They can accommodate the longer and fatter lithium ion batteries. So these two are a lot more versatile. In terms of information, the PowerX doesn't actually show you so much. Uh, the information here is just for one slot at a time and it, it shows you which slot is a little arrow on the bottom. It will cycle through automatically. If you want to go to a, another slot, just press the slot button. So we've got slot one, slot two, slot three, slot four. So it will show you the, the capacity in milliamp hours, the current being applied in milliamps, the amount of time the function has been running, and the voltage in volts. But that's all there is, not, not very much. With these two, there, there's more. Uh, voltage, uh, the resistance as well, which the PowerX hasn't got, resistance in milliohms, the current being applied, the time the function has been running, uh, the temperature, and the capacity. With the Lito Carla, I'm not sure if it will show up on the video, there's a, a small CH here, which is, indicates charging. And when it's discharging, which, yeah, it will show DISCH. The VAP cell hasn't got that, but you can tell what it's doing um, by looking at this graphic. So when these these graphics are doing this, it means it's discharging. If it's charging, one, one or more of the bars will stay permanently lit. Just um, one small difference. With the PowerX, you, you have to set the, the charge and discharge currents manually. When you put the batteries in, to get the charger running, um, one of the steps is to, to set those settings. Uh, there's no other way around it. With the, the VAP cell on the Lito Carla, you, you can set the current manually. That's the current for charge and discharge. Or the machine will do it automatically. Now, on the VAP cell, there's a, a small switch on the side to, to alternate between manual and auto. There's not on the Lito Carla. When you, when you put the batteries in at first, it will automatically measure the resistance through the battery. Uh, both these chargers will work out what type of battery, if, it, if it's M NI, MH, MICD or lithium ion, and they will work out the appropriate charging currents. With the Lito Carla, if you want to do it manually, you just hold, hold down, and this first one needs to go into a slot that's charging, just hold down the, the current button and it will go into manual mode with the, the current that's flashing. And then just a short press, you can change the current. 
250, 500, 1000. With the Power X, you can choose charging currents between 200 milliamps and 2 amps in 100 milliamp steps. Discharge is 100 milliamps to 1 amp. With the VAP cell, it's 250 milliamps to 3 amps for charging, but not those fine steps. You can, you can just change from 250 milliamps to 500 milliamps, 1 amp, 1.5, 2, 2.5, and 3. And discharging is 250 milliamps to 1 amp. But some literature I've seen says that the 1 amp discharge is only available in slots 1 and 4. And with the Lito Carla, the charging like this one is 250 milliamps to 3 amps. And the discharging is 250, 500 or 750 milliamps. Whichever charger you buy, they all do basically the same thing. They've all got four modes. Those modes are charge, discharge, which are fairly straightforward. Uh, there's a capacity test and a repair function. So with the capacity test, what it does, it first fully charges the battery and then it fully discharges the battery. And on that discharge cycle, it measures the capacity and then it charges the battery again so it's ready for use. And um, with the repair function, on these two it's called repair, on the PowerX it's called break in. It uses a, a lower current and it does cycles of charge and discharge to try to re repair any battery. Now, this one works far better uh, and it, it uses a much lower current. So the current it uses to charge is a tenth of the battery capacity and to discharge is a fifth of the battery capacity. So for example, if you, if you have um, a 1000 milliamp battery and you want to repair it on this one, it will charge at 100 milliamps and it will discharge at 200 milliamps. And with these two, it does basically the same thing, but it uses high, higher current settings. Price-wise, and I bought all three in Thailand, these two were around 1,000 Thai baht. So you'll have to use an exchange calculator to see how much that is in your currency. This one was about two and a half times more expensive. This one was around two and a half thousand baht. And at first glance, it looks like this one isn't a very good buy. It can only accept uh, AA and AAA batteries. It can't accept larger batteries. It can't handle lithium iron, whereas these ones can and the display shows a lot less information. However, there's a, a big advantage. And on quite a few occasions, I've had a problem with the battery and you, you put it in one of these chargers and it's just, the charger just says error. It won't, it won't do anything. And I've actually just had this problem uh, with one of these batteries. Uh, as I was setting up, setting up the chargers to do this video, I took these batteries, these VAP cell batteries, which are rated at, rated at 1100 milliamp hours, and they're actually very good. I took them out of a working thermometer, uh, so I know that they, you know, they're all good because the thermometer was working. And one of them, I can't remember which one, uh, I put in here, it said error. I put in here, it said error. I just couldn't do a thing. Put it in here, no problems at all. Um, the, the charger accepts it, and I've just gone through a, a capacity test cycle to see you know to see how much capacity is left in it um, and that's that's been the same on several occasions the, these charges won't do anything this one always works and it's always good to have more than one charger anyway with this one if it's doing a repair because it uses a very low current it takes ages it does a, a 16 hour low current charge then it rests for an hour then it does the the 20 20% uh, discharge and then it does another 10% 16 hour charge and the repair time can take up to 45 hours so this one might be tied up for a couple of days and if you want to charge some batteries you know you, you need another charger so I've got three and it's good to have different brands because some are better at some things than others with regard to which one to buy, 
When I've done videos in the past, I've received comments and some people have very strong views on which ones they, they prefer and which ones they don't like. I think they're all good. As I said earlier, this Power-X one is particularly good at doing repairs. So what I find I do these days, if, if I've just got a basic charge or a, a basic capacity test to do, I'll pull out one of these two. If I have problems, then I'll, I'll, I'll go straight to the Power-X to repair the problem. They're all very similar. Uh, um, they all have four slots that can be controlled independently, and they all have the same four functions. If, you, if you've got lithium ion batteries, obviously you'll need to go for one of these two. I don't, I, I just use nickel metal hydride batteries, uh, AA and AAA. So I, I can use um, any, any of these chargers. I don't need to use a charger that can handle lithium ion batteries. In this video, I've just done a, a general overview of the three chargers. So I haven't gone you know, sort of very deep into detail. If there's anything that you want to know, please leave a question in the comments below and I'll try to get back to you. Okay, thank you for watching.